Today I got a, a little notification on my car, a little message on the screen that said your car has a new update available. Now I don't own a Tesla. A lot of car manufacturers promise they'll do this. They say our electric car, buy it, trust us. We're gonna give you great over the air updates. Our cars are integrated. You can just simply stay at home or wherever you are and you know what, we'll send these new features to you for free. Legacy automakers are the main brands that promise this and don't deliver. I mean, they say this stuff and then nothing ever happens. So it's worth keeping that in mind because if you do get upgrades to your car, it feels nice. It feels nice, especially when those things are changes you want, especially when those things are changes that are made because customers request them. And that's one of the cool things I've mentioned on this channel many times about Tesla's electric cars. I do feel like lately Tesla hasn't done as much with its over-the-air updates. You know, it used to do this stuff. Tesla used to be the king of over-the-air updates and you'd think, wow, look at this new update, new update. Haven't done a lot really in that area over the last probably six months. But my Xpeng G6 just got its second over-the-air update and I'm shocked by how much Xpeng have done. I mean, there's so many things here. I, uh, I'm, I'm really surprised, but not only that, the car's ability to drive has pretty drastically improved. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to have you with us. I, I should disclose I am going to China on Monday next week because the Chinese government owes me, uh, I believe they owe me about $2 billion because I'm actually a paid shrill for the Chinese government. So, And I'm also a spy. Um, in China, they call me the James Bond of China. So just so you know, I work for CI6, so China, yeah. Obviously, um, I'm saying this as a joke to all the Muppets who have been messaging me, sending me messages all over, everywhere, emails, messages on Facebook, every, any comments on YouTube, anywhere they can, everyone's saying they, they want to, they are demanding, I admit, that I am, secretly a Chinese spy and I'm being paid by them. So I'm admitting it to you all. Actually, I get paid about $2 billion a year. It's phenomenal. At this rate, I'll be the one of the richest men in the world within 10 years. I get paid more even than, you know, I mean, the most, the, the best CEOs in the world. It's great, guys. It's great. I keep all this secret, What, by the way. It's the reason I have a fairly budget house. I have a budget stuff. <laughs> A budget shirt I've been wearing for four years since I started the same freaking shirt since I started the channel four years ago. Anyway, Xpeng, over there updates. What are they? Well, G6, that's the car I have. It has Xpeng's just update. And the biggest change is adaptive cruise control, which has, to be, to be honest, has frustrated me. The adaptive cruise control, when you go around a corner, I think it slows down too much. I think it, I think it drives like people do in China. Uh, not everyone, but a lot of people in China, China drive that way around corners. And I, I'm not like that. I don't like, I think it's too slow. So Xpeng say it now significantly reduces unexpected deceleration. Car expert said this commonly known as phantom braking. Car expert don't know what they're talking about because they don't, they often don't know what they're talking about. But anyhow, you can't blame them. The journalists, you know, they're, they're it's not their thing. Electric cars aren't their thing, obviously. Xpeng not saying that. The key issue here for Xpeng have been to get their adaptive cruise control to go around corners and not slow down a lot. And I think that's the change that's been made. I've noticed it straight away with the update. So Xpeng, thank you for fixing my number one biggest frustration. I really appreciate it. It's awesome. In addition to that, Xpeng have added smart camera calibration to the lane centering. That means uh, Xpeng's lane centering. I haven't actually tested this yet, but I'll test it tomorrow. It automatically adjusts cameras to enhance lane keeping accuracy, greatly improving lane centering control. I don't usually use lane centering because I, I'm, not a, I'm not a huge fan of it, to be honest. But now that this has been done, I'm going to give it a shot and I'll see how it works. On top of that, Xpeng have done some stuff to their infotainment system, which is actually pretty cool. They've added the vehicle's state of charge alongside the estimated range when arriving at a destination via the navigation system. I believe that's a customer request as well, plus more accurate destination searches and updated map styles. They've added some other things in the previous update as well, which I like by putting the map on the front screen, putting the actual Apple map on the screen. If you're using Google Maps or Waze, as I use usually, 
that now goes on the front screen for the driver as well as the middle screen, the media screen in the middle. The infotainment system can now play music files from an external USB drive. People were asking for that on Facebook. There was like three, I think, you know, 70 year olds. No, I'm joking. But three people who had USB drives, I don't know who does this anymore, but they do. And so Xpeng went, yep, we'll do it for you three people. We'll give you this feature. That's kind of nice. Xpeng has introduced a guest mode in place of a user, user profile not being logged in. So it makes it easier for guests to use your car. X combo system, you can add things like sentry mode activation. Basically, X combos is it's a, a scenario where there's additional features essentially on the app. So they've added additional features to the app, like internal and external temperature sensing, uh, estimated range sensing. So it's better at sensing how much range is estimated to be left. I'm actually I think this is one of the biggest updates that I've ever seen. I've probably done about twenty videos on car manufacturers bringing out over the air updates most of them were tesla videos over the years because obviously tesla's done the most of them but byd have done some as well so really byd tesla and xpeng i think are doing a pretty good job with their over the air updates and i'm still committed i still really i think it's fair to say a legacy automakers most normal car brands out there uh, they say that they're going to do them and nothing really ever happens let me know your thoughts in the comments Seven major Chinese automakers sold between 35 to 100 percent more cars in 2024 than they did in 2023. The global automotive industry did not get bigger. So that means only one thing, that Chinese car makers took massive market share from their rivals outside of China. Chinese electric car sales have just come in, my friends, and they are, well, pretty damn staggering. As a result of these record EV sales from Chinese car companies, China actually sold 42% of the world's cars in November. In December, that number was probably even higher. BYD, Zika, Xpeng, Neo, Leap Motor, all of them, Xiaomi, all of them broke car sales records for their companies. Here are the numbers and here's what it actually means. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to have you with us. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you too. And guys, if you're charging your EV uh, using electricity from the grid, I suggest not doing that because solar systems on average give you a payback around 50,000 US dollars in America, and it's around 70,000 Australian dollars here in Australia. So it's a no brainer. I use a solar system installed from Resync Solar. I'll put a link in the description below. By the way, I don't get any profit out of getting you guys to buy a system from them. I just recommend them because I use them and they were great. BYD has now sold of oh, just under 4.3 million cars this year, just under 4.3 million, which is insane considering four years ago they sold 400,000. 